Hi, this is Jonathan Johnson here today, working with networking videos. Today we're doing hands-on lab 8-1, which we're going to be doing is creating a static route. So in this lab, you will create a static route in all three routers so that the routers see all networks. Verify with the ping program when complete. Step 1 is going to be the lab A router is connected to two networks, 172.16.10.0 and 172.16.20.0. You need to add to add routes to networks 172.16.30.0 and 172.16.40.0 use the following commands to add the static routes so we're gonna first we're gonna go lab a config t then the second step lab a config ip route 172.16.30.0 and then the space and 255, the subnet mask anyways is 255.255.255.0 and then 172.16.20.2 then the this next one is going to be IP route 172.16.40.0 with a subnet mask 255.255.255.0 172.16.20.2. So both those now are using our uh, have the routes added to the for the to networks now. Now we're gonna go to step two, which is we're gonna save the current configuration for the lab A router by going to privileged mode and typing copy run start and then pressing enter. And what basically all that is is a save feature, so it saves what we've typed in so far on the network routes for the routers. On the step three, we're going to go to the Lab B router. And we're, we, you, we have direct connections to networks 172.16.20.0 and 172.16.30.0. You need to add routes to networks 172.16.10 and 172.16.40. We're going to use these commands right here to do the same thing as we did on the other on step one, except these are different commands. We're going to go config t. We're going to go IP route 172.16.10.0.255.255.255.0.172.16.20.1. That's the first one, and the second one is IP route 172.16.40.0.255.255.255.0. .0 and then 172.16.30.2 so now we did the same thing we did on router A to, to the lab B router and we're going to do the same thing we did last time, we're going to copy run start and press enter to save it Alright, now we're on lab, on lab C, we're going to create a static route to the network 172.16.72.16.20, uh, which are not directly connected. We're going to create static routes so that router lab C can see all networks using the commands shown here. We're going to go config t, IP route 172.16.10.0, 255.255.255.0. Dot sixteen dot thirty dot one. And then we're gonna go second one's gonna be IP route one seven two dot sixteen dot twenty dot zero two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero one seven two dot sixteen dot thirty dot one. And we're gonna do the same thing again that we've done the last ones. We're gonna save the configuration for the router by going copy run start and pressing enter. Now we have that saved. So now we're going to check our routing tables to make sure all four of our networks show up by, show up by executing the show IP route command. So we're going to type in show IP route. And you see right there, it shows that they're all connected. Uh, top two are both uh, SS and the bottom two are CC. One, The bottom one shows all, 
this fast Ethernet connected directly, and the other two are directly connected with the ser one's serial. And it shows that this the bottom one shows all it can see everything on. So now we're going to ping each router to your host, and from each router to each router. If it is set up correctly, it will work. Well, that one didn't work. That one worked. That one has success, 100% rate, 5 out of 5. That one worked also, so we got that one correct. That one also worked. We got that one correct. And that one worked as well. We got that one correct. So we gotta go. So we're all good. Um, thank you for watching this video. This is uh, Jonathan Johnson here with Hands On Lab 81. Hope you guys enjoyed your video and learned something.